Okay, so we're going to start in our value sketchbook today, and we are going to go to page six. And we're going to talk about drawing pencils. So there are a lot of different types of drawing pencils. If you see at the top, it has a value scale of different drawing pencils. And we start with 9H and we go all the way to 9B. So these are all different types of drawing pencils. For our project, we're just going to use three, though, because I want to keep it um, a little simple for you. So we're going to use a light pencil. We're going to use a 2H. We're going to use a medium pencil. We're going to use an HB. And we're going to use a soft pencil. And we're going to use a 4B. So those are the only three we're going to use. Now, the reason you use different drawing pencils is because some are harder and some are softer. The harder ones are lighter. The softer ones are darker. And the reason you use those is to get different values when you're creating a drawing. So the first one says create a value scale with your 2H pencil. So here's my 2H pencil, and I'm going to create a value scale, and I'm going to go from light to dark. Now, I'm going to do this really quickly because I'm doing this for the sake of the video. When you do it, I expect you to color nicely. So you're just going to go darker and darker in each box, right? And eventually, in the last box, you're going to go really dark. If I can't tell the difference between one box to the other, you haven't done it right. Now, that is a bad example of how nice it should look. I'm going to show you a better example in just a little bit, okay? Then the next one says you're going to use a number two pencil. So a number two pencil just means that you are using a regular classroom pencil. Another name for a number two pencil is an HB. They're the same thing. So I'm just going to use a regular classroom pencil, and I'm going to do the same thing where I go from light to dark. Now, once again, I'm not doing a nice job, but I'm going to show you what I expect. So when I say you're going to color it nicely, you're going to color in the whole box nicely like this, okay? But for the purpose of this video, I'm not doing that. Okay, so there's my second one. And the third one says you're going to use a 4B pencil. Your 4B pencil is extra soft, meaning it's really dark. So even when I'm coloring as light as I can, see how much darker it is than the 2H pencil? Okay, and then you can get really dark. I mean, look how dark that is compared to my 2H. See how much darker it gets? Okay, so reminder, my coloring is really sloppy on mine, but you are going to color nice on yours and make it nice and smooth like this. Okay, that's the expectation when I grade it. You're not going to get all 15 points if you don't do that well. How do you get 15 points? You get one point for each box, okay? All right, so that's creating different value scales with our different drawing pencils. And then we're going to move on and start on our project. Which is the realism part, okay? So you're going to need your blending stump. You're going to need your 2H pencil. And you're going to need your 4B pencil. And now what we have to do is we have to use our photo. And we have to go back. And we have to make this as realistic as we can, all right? So we're going to have to be using a lot of value with shading and, um, and then just getting in those finer lines. What I like to do is I like to map out where the lightest areas are and then go around those. So if you look at my lion, for instance, there are areas that are blank white, okay? And I want you to find the part of your picture where there might just be white, white, okay? Because every good piece of art should have dark, darks, and light lights. So for the line, that would be around the eyes. Here, it would be around the nose, and then obviously around the chin. So I'm going to leave those completely white. And then the rest of it, I'm actually going to put a thin layer of gray just to kind of get me started. So I'm going to use my 2H pencil, and I'm just going to start, and I'm going to lightly color. the whole thing just to give a nice layer of gray okay and I'm coloring super lightly because this is my very first gray tone I want to have a huge variety of grays in my drawing and of course you can use your blending stump to blend that in okay See how that's kind of blending it together and making it smoother? If you're not a super fan of the blending stump, you can also just use a Kleenex 
I like to go in both directions because then it makes it even smoother. And honestly, I go over it over and over again until I can get it as smooth as I possibly can. So I, I might even go over a spot five or six times until I know all that pencil is blended and it's like a nice flat gray. You shouldn't see any streaks to where you've been drawing back and forth. Obviously, this line is going to have hair textures, but I haven't gotten that far yet, so I don't even want to add any of that in. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going. So, when you want to draw lightly on your pencil, you want to hold it higher up and then kind of just fan back and forth lightly. The darker you draw, the closer you want to hold your pencil at the end. So I encourage you as well to work from light to dark um, because once you add something and you make it dark, there's really no going back, okay? Your eraser will erase it, but it's always going to be dark on your paper. So like I said, I like to leave the whites completely white, and then I like to add just a thin layer of gray over everything, just kind of as a base, because then you can just start building up color from there. When you are adding value and detail to a drawing, it, it shouldn't be a fast process. It, it's going to take you a long time. You know, what's nice about it though is we're only doing this middle section in this style, so we don't really have to worry about the rest of it right now. And I had this little detail right here that's kind of getting lost now, so I'm just going to go lightly back over it with my 2H and get that again, just so that I know where it's at, since I've blended over it. If you can see, it's kind of a, it's kind of like a fold in the fur of the lion. Okay, so that's what I encourage you to do today. I encourage you to find, number one, where are the white whites in your picture, okay? in this middle section. I have a lot in mine because mine is the face of the lion. And then I encourage you to, over the rest, the complete rest of it, the areas that are not white, just start by putting a thin gray layer, okay? And if this is something that you get done really quickly, you probably didn't spend enough time on it. Because if you can see, I've spent a good five minutes just doing this little section right here, okay? So, like I said, hold your pencil up high, so you can get a nice light stroke and then blend it out with your blending stump or a Kleenex if you don't really care for your blending stump and keep going over and over and over until you get rid of all those little pencil lines so it's nice and smooth. All right, my guess is, is that, that this is about as far as we're gonna get in class with this and then we're gonna have to go in and start adding those finer details next week and start building those layers, okay? so. Get those two things punched in, leave the areas white, get your gray coat over everything, and then we will keep rolling next time.